Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I think that my girlfriend is only with me because she can't be with her best friend. Should I just end the relationship? <gasps> oh, damn, that's sad. I've been with my girlfriend Jordan for a little over two years. We live together and we have two cats. Up until this weekend, I genuinely thought everything was perfect in our relationship, which I know is what everyone says in these posts, but I really was thinking that I was going to ask her to marry me sometime in the next year. We don't even get into arguments. Jordan is very sweet and easygoing, and normally we just mesh well on everything. Honestly, if everything in our relationship had been so good up until now, I probably would have just broken up with her this weekend. But because things have been truly perfect, I'm not sure if maybe I'm jumping to the wrong conclusion about what to do because my feelings got hurt. The other person who's important in this story is Jordan's friend, Mark. She's known Mark for the whole lives because they both grew up in the same small religious community. Jordan isn't part of that religion anymore. She decided to leave the church when she was, I think, 19 and moved to the state that we live in now. Mark still is in the religion and apparently takes it really seriously. I'm told he now works for the church back in Jordan's hometown. Also, as far as I know, Mark is the only person from the religious community that Jordan still talks to besides her parents, which I'm mentioning because I now think it could be a red flag. So on Saturday, I met Mark for the first time because he was in our city and Jordan wanted us to all have dinner together. At this point, I want to say I will admit that when we were first dating and I found out that Jordan had a best friend who was a guy, I didn't really like it. Especially because it seemed like they were on FaceTime with each other a lot. But since it was a childhood friend and they mostly didn't see each other in person, I just trusted Jordan that Mark was only a friend and didn't let it bother me and eventually I got over it. So when we were going to dinner, I wasn't jealous or suspicious of Mark at all. If anything, I was somewhat excited to finally be meeting him since I've been hearing about him for two years. But then the way Jordan and Mark acted at dinner is what convinced me that there's something going on there other than just being best friends. I honestly don't even know how to describe it except to say that I've never seen two people act more obviously like they were in love with each other. <sighs> That's heartbreaking. No. They literally would not stop touching each other. They were constantly touching each other's arms and shoulders and at some points they were eventually even holding hands. No, 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 no. You don't hold hands with your best friend who's the opposite sex. Now it sounds kind of like double standardy because girls always hold hands with each other if they're best friends, right? Like that's a normal thing. So it does feel weird to say that because it's so double standards, right? Like girls and guys can't hold hands if they're best friends, but girls and girls can hold hands if they're best friends. <laughs> but that's the thing is that everyone is okay with that. Most people. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but seriously, guys and girls, no, no holding hands. No, even if you're best friends, no holding hands. And why are you even doing that with your boyfriend next to you? That's so disrespectful. They completely left me out of the conversation and were laughing about inside jokes. And every time they laugh, they do this thing where they put their foreheads together or that was when they'd be holding hands. And then also they were just looking at each other in a way that I didn't feel comfortable with at all. It was honestly even worse than the touching. It just wasn't how anyone would look at somebody they're supposedly just friends with. That's freaking upsetting, man. Imagine just seeing your partner be in love with someone else in front of you. <sighs> That's the thing that's hard too, though. It's the fact that best friends are soulmates just as much as you are soulmates with your partner. Do you know what I mean? Oof, oh, this is, this is not good though. This is not good. I am 100% sure that every stranger looking at our table thought that Jordan and Mark were the couple and that I was her brother or something. I felt like a third world the whole time and Jordan didn't even notice how awkward she was making it for me because she was way too focused on Mark and all the attention she was getting from him. And that's really not like Jordan at all. Usually she's a lot more considerate and would notice immediately if I wasn't having a good time or if she was accidentally being rude and excluding someone at the table. So it was genuinely really jarring to be sitting there with her and Mark and basically feeling like I didn't know my girlfriend at all. It was like he turned her into a completely different person who didn't even care that I was alive. Dude, okay, yeah, that's not it, man, that's not it. Yeah, you don't make your partner feel uncomfortable when you're out with someone else, okay? Did she just forget that she has a boyfriend? Like, she's acting like she's single or something, like seriously. 
You, you're just excluding your boyfriend here and what the hell is Mark doing? I don't even like Mark anymore because a normal person would notice that your existence is making someone else uncomfortable. You know, you would notice that. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about Mark either. Like, Mark, you're literally there to meet your best friend's boyfriend. So you should be talking to him. What's the point of inviting your partner to dinner to meet someone when you're not going to include them in any conversations? <laughs> I would actually be so mad. Like, I hate it when this happens to me, okay? When someone invites me out, and then they don't even talk to me. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that so much. Like if that happens to me, I would be so salty. I would not even talk to that person anymore after I go home. Like if you don't want to talk to me there, you ain't gonna talk to me ever. Being excluded is one of the worst feelings ever, okay? Like I've experienced that so many times. It's just not a good feeling. It just feels like you're just there for like decoration or something it's like they invite you out but they don't even talk to you they don't even look at you at all they don't even act like you exist imagine feeling like you don't exist that's the kind of feeling okay worst type of feeling ever so finally at one point when jordan got up to go to the bathroom i just said to mark so are you into my girl or what's going on here mark nothing's going on at all that ship sailed a long time ago me what does that mean did you guys date at some point mark no we never did and then when she left the church we both knew it meant that we were never going to and we've accepted being in each other's lives as friends there's nothing else going on at all me that makes us sound like the only reason you're not together is because she left the church and all mark did was shrug me well what if she came back to the church would you marry her mark oh she's not going to do that you might as well ask what would happen if a bicycle had six tires so then when Jordan came back to the table, Mark said to her, your boyfriend wants to know if we'd be married if you weren't a godless heathen. Mark is an actual asshole. Okay, I think we got that already. <laughs> wow, Mark has like an ego thing going on with himself. Just no consideration for anyone at all. You know, those kind of people suck. Jordan, why did you two call your mum while I was gone? And then she and Mark just both laughed about it and changed the subject. So because of dinner and that conversation and everything else that I've written about in this post, I really feel like Jordan and Mark are in love with each other and not just best friends like they say. And the only reason they aren't together is because they can't compromise about the religion. I think Jordan thinks that because she's okay with that decision, she expects me to be okay with being her second choice and in the meantime, she's actually secretly wanting to be with Mark. So that makes me think that I should probably obviously just have self-respect and break up with her because I shouldn't be in a relationship with someone who would rather be with someone else. But then the problem for me is that our relationship has been so perfect and Jordan has always treated me so well except for this one night. The only time she's ever acted like this was on the one occasion that Mark was around in person. Normally, even when she's talking to him all the time, she's never made me feel this way. So on the one hand, I'm wondering if maybe it doesn't matter what Jordan's feelings are for Mark. As long as he isn't going to be around, it doesn't really seem to affect our relationship. So maybe I just need to cool off and go back to trusting her that they are indeed only friends, even if it seems to be true that they have complicated feelings for each other. Or should I just end things? Just talk it out with your girlfriend, man. Seriously, just talk it out and ask her what the hell is going on. Talk it out. All right. Don't have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with yourself because that's just going to ruin you. It's just going to be overthinking. Legit, just talk to her. Talk to your girlfriend. All right. Just tell her how she made you feel when you guys were out at dinner because she's never made you feel that way before. And she's probably going to spill the beans if there is something. That does make me wonder too though. What if Mark was always around her? Like what if they lived close to each other? What's going on? Like what if Mark moved? Because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Mark could all of a sudden be like, you know what? I want to move to where you are too. And then what happens then? <laughs> so seriously, you guys got to talk about it. The both of them are just so disrespectful though. Like, aren't they adults? You don't do this anymore when you guys are like grown ups, alright? You don't make someone feel excluded. Like, that's just some type of like bully behavior. You know, when there's normally like three best friends, there's always one that's excluded. That felt like this. I mean, that's not always the case, but I know some people who are in that trio group. And there's just always one that gets bullied. Dude, this story just made me have like freaking flashbacks, man. <laughs> I hate people like that. Like, I don't care how close someone is with someone. If they invite me out to hang out with them, 
They better include me. Like, what the hell is this? Like, what the hell? It's like you invite someone out and you, you're eating and then there's like a brick wall. And the other person is eating behind the brick wall while you guys have fun when you invited that person out. I know so many of us have probably experienced this before, like being the third wheel and just feeling excluded. Yeah. I'd be concerned because what if Mark stays? <laughs> Seriously, they really need to talk it out. But man, man, I'm trying to think and put myself in that situation. If I had a partner and they acted like that with their female best friend, Oh, I can't. Because it's like, if I'm dating you, I expect to be your best friend. How are you going to act like I don't exist just because you're hanging out with your best friend? What the hell? All right, moving on. My boyfriend's female friend wants to move in. What's going on with these stories? Oh, hell no. You ain't moving in. What the hell? Who do you think you are? <laughs> The fact that some people just don't have any common sense, you know, I'm talking to the female friend What the hell unless you want to like home wreck or something you must be dumb I have been with my boyfriend for about six months and he has a female friend that he's very close with First I want to preface this with saying that I don't care if he has female friends generally He has other women friends that I get along with very well and whose behavior have never made me feel weird About a week ago my boyfriend invited me to attend a volleyball game at the local college it was a group of us, me, my boyfriend, another couple and his female friend. I was sitting between my boyfriend and the other couple with his friend sitting on the other side of him. They talked literally the entire game and he hardly said a word to me. This bothered me and made me feel a bit neglected, but I didn't want to say anything. Not again. The next time I see my boyfriend is two days later. I asked him what he did the previous night and he told me that him and his female friend had a movie night, alone at his apartment and made pizza. This made me feel very uncomfortable because it seemed like a date. I told him this and he got very defensive at first and told me that it seems like I'm trying to control who he hangs out with. I told him that I don't mind if he continues to be friends with her, but this event plus the volleyball game incident made me feel uncomfortable. He also told me that when he first met this friend about two years ago, he had a crush on her, but he doesn't feel that way about her anymore. He eventually apologized and then told me he would be more sensitive to how he interacts with her in the future. Now he told me that she has asked him if she can stay with him while she is between leases. She did something similar around the time we got together, but I didn't mind at the time because I obviously did not have these concerns before. He asked if I was comfortable with it and I haven't given him a response yet. I feel a bit uncomfortable, but I don't want to come across as overbearing or controlling of his friendships. Was I being unreasonable about the movie night? Girl, please don't let them step over you like that. Set your boundaries. What are you doing? What? Why are you like, oh my God, I don't know if I should let her stay over at our place. I just don't know. I don't want to feel like I'm controlling him. You're not controlling him. You're just setting your boundaries. Like every relationship has the boundaries. And it's up to you guys if you guys agree with the boundaries. If not, just go off, break up and find someone else who can respect those boundaries. Like I know some people who set boundaries for their partners to not even be talking to the opposite sexes and they're both fine with it. All right. There are some people like that. <laughs> okay. This one, literally the boundary is I don't want your female friend moving in. Like girl, you're not even living with him and his female friend wants to move in with him. Do you know how bad that sounds? Like, oh my god, I feel like he's just gaslighting her to the point where she just feels uncomfortable to even tell him anything or to even set her boundaries, you know? Because he's like, wow, you're controlling me, you're doing this, I don't like it when you do this, blah, 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 blah. Um, girl, I don't know, but it just doesn't sound like he wants to respect you. Because no boyfriend would disrespect his girlfriend by having his female friend move in with him when you don't even live with him. Okay? <laughs> like, that's not something normal, all right? No girlfriend is gonna be okay with that. So yeah, I feel like he just gaslighted her so much to the point where she's just like, I, I don't know. I just, I just want him <laughs> 
to feel like I'm not controlling him. Because I know for a fact that if this person moved in with their male friend, like if they had one, the boyfriend wouldn't be okay with it. The boyfriend would be like, why would you do that? You know? So yeah. Nah. -uh. I'm just confused, man. Like the fact that he even thought that was an okay thing where he would be like, hey, can I see my friend move in with me? Of course not. Like, why would you think that's even a valid question? The fact that he even has a movie night with his female friend alone at his apartment. You're not having a movie night with your own girlfriend? Interesting. You don't really see your girlfriend that often. Like, he probably sees that friend more often than he sees his girlfriend. <laughs> she was like, the next time I see my boyfriend is two days later. Um, okay. But he's been seeing his female friend more often than he sees you. I don't know what to tell you, girl. But seriously, <laughs> it doesn't even feel like you're in that relationship. It feels like you're the friend and his female friend is the girlfriend. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.